Hi CNCers, today I'll walk you through the process of flashing firmware using the Arduino IDE. If you have GSender or any other program open, please close them now. Choose the Arduino IDE for your operating system. The link is below for the Download Options page. On the next page, choose an option to download. Locate the downloaded file and begin the installation. It'll take a few moments to complete. I've sped up the process here to keep the video short. We'll now download the firmware we'll use in a couple of minutes. Follow the link below to our Gerbil firmware page, scroll down and click the link shown to download the file. Once downloaded, click the zip file to open it, extract the files to your desktop. Make sure your computer is connected to the controller. Open up the Arduino software to begin the next steps. Let's confirm the Arduino IDE is connected to the controller. Click on Tools, then Board. Make sure the Arduino Uno is selected. Next under Ports, select the COM port your controller is connected to. In the top left, click File. Hover the mouse over Examples, then hover over EEPROM. Click on EEPROM Clear. A new window will open up. Click on the right direction arrow to upload the program. It will only take a few seconds. Then the upload will be complete. Using File Explorer, open the Gerbil Long Mill Firmware folder. Open the Gerbil folder, open the Examples folder, and finally open Gerbil Upload folder. Click Gerbil Upload.ino to open the file. When the file is opened, click on Sketch. Hover the mouse over Include Library, then click Add Zipped Library. Open the Long Mill Firmware folder and select the Gerbil.zip folder. Click Open. Click the right facing arrow to upload the file to the controller. Now we'll confirm the firmware has been uploaded. Click Tools, then click Serial Monitor. If you get random numbers or letters, change the baud rate. On the lower right drop down, change the baud rate to 115,200. The firmware build will now be displayed on the screen. We'll now confirm the firmware in GSender. You must close all open windows of the Arduino IDE. You will not be able to connect to GSender if the Arduino software is still open. Open GSender and connect to your machine. Click console in the bottom right and confirm the firmware is there. You have now successfully flashed firmware using the Arduino IDE.